Hey, this is Sean of the Dead, and welcome back to Is It Worth It? Today, Boneyard Vapors. All right, so uh, let's dig right in here. Have a uh, business card and a flavor card. And there's like 13 bottles of juice. So Boneyard has two different lines. They have a five flavor yogurt line and then they have, looks like an eight flavor um, regular line. So uh, we're gonna start with the yogurt line. The first one we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start with their sample of Stranana yogurt. It doesn't say the VGPG ratios. It doesn't show it online on the website and it doesn't show it on their card. It seems relatively viscous. It might be 70-30. If I had to guess, that's what I would presume. So we shall see. Can taste the yogurt, a hint of strawberry. Okay, there's the banana. That was a very yogurty banana. Oh, slow exhale, I can taste the strawberry. Banana medley with a slight undertone of yogurt. It's pretty good. So let's go ahead and check out this next one here. And we're going to go with blueberry. And taste the yogurt. A little bit of aftertaste of blueberries. It didn't come until the end. That, that's pretty good. Uh, it's nice and smooth. It has a very faint uh, undertone of blueberry mixed in with a stronger yogurt flavor, but not an overpowering yogurt flavor. So that's pretty good. Next one's gonna be orange. It tastes like a citrusy candy orange, almost like the inside of an orange peel versus the actual orange itself. I'd say it's pretty good, it's smooth. Um, um, it's not a very strong orange flavor. Uh, the orange flavor is a little, a little weak. Um, maybe it tastes a little bit like an inside of an orange rind, like hints of that, and hints of ca like candyish orange. Um, I mean, it's vapable, but it's not one that I would run to the store to go buy right away. I would definitely take the blueberry over the uh, orange any day. So next on the list is going to be black cherry. Wow. Woo. So I kind of need a glass of water after that one. Um, I'm usually not huge in the cherry flavors in general. Um, that was a very strong, strong black cherry. Um, um, it was more overpowering than I, than I anticipated. I tasted no yogurt. Um, let, me, let me try that again now, knowing what to expect a little bit. Wow. Wow. 
I catch some subtle tones of yogurt in there on this on the exhale, but that that black cherry is extremely overpowering. Um, it almost makes it not worth calling a yogurt flavor because it's the yogurt flavor is so subtle, you really don't get to taste it. So um, I would call that black cherry, not black cherry yogurt. So let's try this key lime. That's pretty good. Yeah, it tastes good. I just um, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it key lime. Um, I would expect more of a margarita flavor with um, a little shot of of lime in it before I would call that a key lime. So uh, that's how I feel about the the first ones. Um, the straw nana was, was pretty good. The blueberry was my favorite, um, oddly enough, as I'm not really a big fan of blueberries. Um, then moving into the orange was a little weak on the orange. Um, the black cherry was way too overpowering. Uh, and the key lime tasted like margarita, which suits me fine as I like margarita flavor, so that's fine. So the next line uh, is just gonna be the regular line. It's gonna have a lot of different flavors. Um, the first one they call Eunice. The picture on the on the website is of a banana bread. It's a smooth banana, uh, and I'm extremely hard to please when it comes to bananas. Mmm. You can kind of taste the bread flavor coming out. It's not just banana. And I vape that. And that's pretty good. All right, and dough. A caramel apple. I taste the caramel, but I don't taste any apple. It's a fairly smooth caramel, but no apple yet. Um, no, no apple. I'm smooth caramel, but I just don't taste any of the apple subtleties. Uh, next up is Tres, which is a strawberry mojito. Hmm. It almost tastes like, I guess it's a raspberry, but it almost feels like a cranberry. Pleasant. It's not awesome, but it's not bad. It's pleasant. Um, there's some subtleties and subtle tones. I mean, between the mojito flavoring, uh, whatever that is, it tastes kind of a little limeish in nature, uh, and then the raspberry flavor. Um, the way that they're mingled together, um, it doesn't taste like a raspberry, doesn't taste like lime, um, it has a little tang to it. Uh, it's not bad, I mean, but it's, I don't know, I wouldn't call it top 10 on my list. Uh, so let's bounce off here, because they don't have a number four, they skip four, and they go to five. Sweet strawberries and cream with a hint of healthy herbal flavor. So help me, if this tastes like tea, <laughs> I will not be happy. So let's see. It 
Um. Oh. Oh. That's horrible. <coughs> um. That that's bad. Oh my gosh, that's that's really bad. That's freaking horrible. Oh my gosh. That's the nastiest thing I've had in a while. Oh, man. What is that? that that's a juice you use to put your buddy's mod when he needs to look and see you can play a joke on it. This is freaking nasty. Do not buy that juice. Let's move, move along to sex. I like sex. Don't run sex for me, please. Don't run sex for me. Um, so six. It is kiwi pomegranate. Oh, that's bad. No more of that. I don't, I don't know what they were trying to accomplish with that, but they did not do it. That was also ungood. Ugh. It tasted very chemical, tasted very, I don't know, artificial. Um, tasted like cleaning supplies or something. Uh, it, it was just bad. It was bad. Not near as bad as the strawberry turd sandwich one, but it was, it was bad. So uh, let's, let's roll with uh, septum. Tastes like rainbow candy, so it looks like Skittles. Okay, it didn't suck. Okay. That tastes like it could be a Skittles ripoff candy, like um, store brand Skittles. Uh, I call that a store brand Skittles. Um, it's pretty good. Um, if you if you want a Skittles candy or something like that, this would, this would be a good knockoff for it. That's not so bad. So let's see here, Octo, an awesome strawberry milk vape. More strawberries and cream. I don't know if, if it has any of that earth in it, I'm not going to be happy. So we'll see. Strawberry and cream vape. And that's what I expected out of the first one. A traditional strawberries and cream. Okay. That's, that's pretty good. It has the strawberries, it has the cream, it has the traditional strawberry cream feel to it. All these flavors mostly taste like house juice. Uh, none of them really taste um, supremely premium. A couple of the yogurt ones were pretty good. Um, outside of the, the, the blueberry one was my favorite so far. And everything else has been very lackluster. The last one here, uh, Novum, a fantastic cereal vape that has the flavors of loopy fruit cereal and milk. Now, they better not mess up Fruit Loops. I love Fruit Loop vapes. It's a Fruit Loop flavor. It's good um, enough. Um, I wouldn't call it a premium. I'd call it a House Fruit Loop, uh, which isn't bad. There's some House Fruit Loops are really good. That's the best one of the, of the bunch um, for sure. Um, their their Fruit Loops was pretty good. So let's talk price for a second here. Um, their yogurt line is 22 bottles for 30 mil, 
and their strawberries and turd and the rest of their other flavors are $20 for a 30 ml bottle. So their premium prices for house juice that a lot of them are pretty funky, chemical, rancid tasting juice. Uh, um, and I mean, this it seems like what they did is they went, hey, let's uh, do a juice company and let's go ahead and come up with a label and we're gonna call them all these names and we're gonna call up a distribution agent and we're gonna tell them to just give us some of their house juice and we're gonna buy all this premium. And that's kind of what I think they did is they spent more on their logo and their marketing than they did on their juice. Okay, so down to brass tacks. Um, is it worth it? No, not for the price point. If you could get it for five bucks a bottle, maybe. Um, there's so many of the similar flavors through other companies that are gonna be so much better at a, the same or lesser price point. These are not worth the money that they're asking for. Uh, just go ahead and click up there if you missed uh, last week's video. Again, as always, I appreciate you watching and uh, don't forget, subscribe.